Okay, my friends, welcome back to part two in this lovely little scene here, a French vineyard. Um, okay, I've everything done down as far as here, and the last thing to do is um, just paint these vines coming across, okay? These lovely little vineyard, little bushes and trees coming across. So I'm going to keep this nice and simple, all right? So what I'm going to do is... I have my same colours here, they're still wet. I am thinking I will use this brush first and just create some of those darker lines. Very similar to what we did in the Bluebell tutorial. So let me just dampen this brush. Any little flat brush you have will do fine. Or even if you want to use a small round brush for this, you can as well. Absolutely fine. So let's dampen the brush. And I'm going to take some uh, burnt umber. I'll start with some burnt umber. And I'm going to take a little touch of black and then into that I'm going to take a little touch of cadmium yellow. So I'm going for a very dark, dark brownie kind of a green, okay? A mucky green, a dark brownie. It's more brown really, but there's a hint of a greeny hue in it. Uh, what I'm going to do is simply just create the darks between these little bushes okay and the the point in this really is just to try and get my perspective um that's the only reason i'm doing this okay there's no other reason it's just to get some perspective in the painting and as they come across they're going to start getting more and more over this way um now i can see in on the photograph there uh, they all seem to kind of go in the same direction all the way across, but I want to create a bit more perspective in this painting, a bit more of an angle. Does that make sense? So let me just get some more of that, some burnt umber, some black. And I'm kind of using the edge of the brush like this, you see. And as you go further across the canvas, they're going to start getting more at a sharper, sharper angle, okay? And they're also going to start getting closer and closer together. So that will give us some really nice perspective in our painting. So as I come across here now, I'm going to start getting closer, but angling a lot more, you see? Like that. You kind of get the idea, don't you? So you can see we already have some really nice perspective so far, don't we? I keep going and I'm just going to finish up under the barns there, okay? And then a couple of small ones really off in the distance, almost horizontal, okay? So I think that's okay. I'm happy enough with that. Um, the next stage is I'm going to take my fan brush and just add a little bit of texture to some of those. I don't want to leave it just as it is. So I'm going to take some black and I'm going to take a hint of yellow. Okay, I'm going to make a very blacky, blacky green. And I'm just simply going to just dab, 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 dab. A little bit of texture here and there in some of those. Um, it's really just to rough the surface, okay? Give it a bit of texture, that's all. No other reason. I don't want to just see plain little brush strokes in all of this. So I'm just adding a little touch. Most of this may be covered anyway with the vines and all that kind of stuff, the bushes. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to spend too much time doing that. Then I'm going to take a little burn sienna and some Naples yellow. And I'm going to add one or two little light spots just here and there. As if the light is kind of catching and going through some of the vines. And soften that in then, okay? There. That's not bad, okay? That will do us just for now. The next step is to start working on 
the vines themselves. Now I'm simply going to do it the very same way I've done the bluebells that time. So I'm going to start with, just take this large rough brush. Um, I think I'll start with a dark kind of a green first, okay? So I'm going to take some black and some cadmium yellow. I'm not going to use blue in this because the blue is very cold and I want this lovely and warm. It's a very warm colour. So a nice warm green. Almost like an olive green, okay? So black and yellow. And I'm just going to really start with the darks of this. And I'm going to go on the left hand side and put some nice darks in. And look, I'm not going crazy, you see? I'm just putting a suggestion of some darker ones and they get smaller and smaller as they go off, okay? You could see I'm kind of softening these as well, sort of into that brown in between. Just a little, I'm just dabbing it along very gently like this, look. Now let's take a little bit more, a little bit more yellow. Because as it goes off into the distance, you can't really see very much of the darks. It's just lots of light, isn't it? So I go as far as there. Okay. Maybe just one or two more just here, look. And that will do me for now. So you can see now we already have a nice little perspective in the painting. Isn't that right? Then I'm going to clean that brush just very quickly on some tissue and I'm going to go with some really bright ones then, okay? So some nice cadmium yellow. And I may take a tiny hint of burnt sienna. So I'm going to start with that colour first. Um, a medium kind of a nice green, nice warm medium kind of a green. And I'm just going to go along the top of that. I'm just simply dabbing with my brush, look, I'm softening it kind of into the darker colour as it goes off. Now sometimes I would just go with a very bright colour and soften that down into the dark, but I just want to go with a kind of a medium shade first, just for now. And you can see I'm starting to build it up, I'm building up the layers as I go. And I want to keep the dark. I don't want to lose those darks because they're very important. They separate the little bushes, okay? So I want to keep those darks. I don't want to lose the dark completely. So I'm putting this medium green just over our darker green and softening it down and in, okay? Let's take another little bit of that and we'll go off into the distance. And we'll go right off then and let's just use this on its own off of that distance, okay? And you can see I'm only just dabbing very loosely over most of these off in the distance because it's a very thin layer so the brown is still showing through. And we're going to go on to our fan brush then soon. But I'll just keep going as this for now. This is working okay. If you feel something is working, then keep doing it. Isn't that correct? Now, so that's what we have so far. You can see everything is starting to go off into the distance nicely. What I'm going to do next is clean that again. And I'm going to get some really bright colour this time. Really bright whitey greens, okay? So let me take some more cadmium yellow. And this part really will be a very short tutorial. It's just, um, you know, everything else is done. It's just finishing off in the front here. So I'm thinking maybe 20 minutes or so, 20 or 30 minutes at most. Can be yellow with some white and a tiny, tiny, tiny hint of phthalo blue. And that will just give us a nice kind of a whitey green. Okay. And I might start off in the distance and see so I'm using the tip of my brush just to create the impression of the tips of those bushes off in that distance, look.
Now, if you don't have a kind of a brush that's like this, a simple flat brush will do perfectly fine as well. Um, or the fan brush. You can use a fan brush as well. Off like that. And bring everything off into a point. So you can kind of get the idea. It's simple but effective. Um, because if you look at the photograph, you know, you're not going to be able to paint every single tiny little bush in detail. That would be impossible, okay? You would just spend hours and hours and hours with a tiny brush putting tiny, tiny little marks on and hoping it looks like the finished painted, the finished photograph. I just find keeping it simple like this is a much easier way of creating a nice little impression of the scene, okay? Of course, you don't have to do this. If you have your own technique, you can use your own technique as well. Um, but I just like keeping things simple because this show, this this channel, is really kind of aimed at beginners and intermediate kind of artists. You know, I could I could spend a lot of time doing very complicated tutorials and very very long tutorials, but I find for beginners, um, it may come across too complicated and they'll just tune out and they'll go somewhere else. So I like to help the beginners get started. All right. Um, every now and then I will do a a tutorial with lots and lots of detail and so on uh, taking my time but for the most part I like to just give a nice simple tutorial a nice easy to follow tutorial I think there are many many YouTube channels out there for painting uh, which just go into lots and lots of detail and I find even when I look at them myself sometimes I find it just looks too too complicated and there's too much too much information and you tend to just kind of almost become frightened because there's so much detail in some of those paintings and a lot of the time really they're not even explaining what they're doing they're just painting with some music and it's very difficult to learn something like that okay it's very difficult I just like to be more personal and kind of, you know, let people get to know me as an artist and try to help as best I can. So there we go. Going off into the distance, nice, simple rows of bushes. All right. You can interpret these whichever way you like. But I just like to keep it simple. Okay. I'm going to use my fan brush next. So I'm going to get my fan brush, dampen it, and give it a quick clean. Um, I'll take some cadmium yellow again, some white, and a little hint of phthalo blue. Tiny, tiny hint. It's more of a whitey, kind of a bluey green, okay? Very, very bright. Now I'm going to go off up here and just suggest one or two up here as well. Just to add a little bit more interest into the painting, that's all. A um, little bit more yellow. And I'll go down here and I'll add some real bright ones across some of the tops of these. I hope now you can follow this okay. Um, you could use this for any type of painting okay you could just create uh, little flowers and that kind of thing it doesn't have to be a vineyard as such so you could use these techniques and just make your own just come up with something nice yourself you know uh, rows of flowers different color flowers would be lovely as well uh, that might even be a tutorial that we could look at i know over in the netherlands somewhere there's fields like this full of flowers um tulips i think is it the tulip fields correct me if i'm wrong but i i know there's something like that over around there so something like that would work lovely with um a scene like this so you can see now just brightening slightly
brightening the bright side of the bushes that's all just making them pop just a little bit more and you see they don't even have to look like actual vineyard plants as long as you have the impression that's really all you need i'm just going to soften some of these off into the distance as well look just to create as if they're going way way off into the distance fields you see now i don't feel the need to do any more than that i'll be honest i think that's that's absolutely fine one thing i might do is take a nice dark color i guess some black some blue and a little yellow perhaps some burnt umber I'm just going to go in by the darker sides again just very gently darkening some of those down at the end okay I think that's fine I don't need to go any more than that I don't want to spoil the painting okay So I think um, I think we're pretty much there really. What I might do is just add with a smaller brush a little bit of warmth to some of those trees in there, okay? So I'm just gonna take a smaller flat brush. I'll go with some cadmium yellow and some cyanide. And I just want to make a nice warm, warm, almost like an autumn type of color. And just put it on some of those bushes here just to create one or two warm spots on some of the bushes, okay? There we go. That's okay. I won't overdo this. I don't need to overdo it. <coughs> um, I'll put one more around here just to push those one back, okay? So I'll take more of that yellow and I'll put it up right here, look. And then maybe take a little black and go into the dark side of this. Gently tapping and it just acts I suppose as a little separator, a little separation between the front and the back. Okay, just a little. And my friends, I think that's fine. I don't think we need to go any further with this. I might just warm the footpath just a little with some Naples yellow and a touch of burnt cyanide. Might just put a little bit of warm colour across just to suggest a hint of a walkway up there. Okay, separate those two fields. Um, and I think that's pretty much, pretty much it. I think we're done. I might just add one or two dark spots. Uh, let's go along here just to create a little separation between those and there. Um, add one or two little small details in the distance. And I might just add a little bit of light to the roof. Just to make it brighten up just a little, okay, just a touch. And I would say, we are there. There we go, my friends. A vineyard in France. Or the impression of a vineyard in France. Now, you could walk away on all of these. You could just keep going with all of these. Um, I might add a suggestion of perhaps one or two little posts here and there. going through the field
and then take a little bit of light colour, maybe some Naples yellow, and pop a little light on one side of those, just a little. You see, it's just really, to, I suppose, just to add a bit more interest into your painting, that's all. No other reason. <clears throat> so there we are, my friends. We are finished. And I think that's turned out quite nice. I'm quite happy with that. Um, for a nice little scene, let me sign it down here. I think we've accomplished what we wanted to set out to do in the first place, was just, was just to simplify the scene and, um, you know, create a nice little tutorial. So there we go. Let me zoom in, give you a proper look. So the fan brush is fantastic for all of this kind of thing. It creates a lovely, rough kind of a surface, okay? So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed that. Let me see if I can turn this without causing too much damage to everything. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your support. If you would like to support me, pop over to Patreon. The link should be there at the end of the video and lots of extra tutorials there. And if you're interested in Zoom, I'm doing one-to-one -one Zoom as well. So just email me, let me know. And it's great fun. We have a great uh, crack along the way and we learn a bit, a bit about painting and we can paint whatever scene you like. So um, it's just, you know, to keep going and um, you know, have fun. Try it and see what you think. If you want to change it up a bit, add something to it or take something out or just make a nice row of trees or something, um, it would be lovely also. So um, yeah, try it. Um, go on, I'll see you next week for another little tutorial. Thank you so much, Dave, again. I hope you enjoyed it, my friend. And um, God bless and happy painting. I'll see you soon. Take care.